What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. So we've made some great progress. We're getting a little bit farther. Um, we've gone ahead and removed the um, 1030 two gigabyte card just for our, vi our visual video. As you can see, we pulled it out over there. Following along, we're kind of done as we talked about with the uh, GTX 970 for now. So we're actually gonna utilize the onboard video, which I didn't realize it had, it does have, we're learning as we go, completely missed it. It's just this one little HDMI port, so clutch, so good. So I've gone ahead and connected it via the HDMI. Um, the BIOS is updated, so we should be avoiding uh, a lot of these network stability issues and harm it's causing my home network. So our next step is let's go ahead and power this on. We have this little like power button down here. Kind of hard to see. Uh, let's see here. Can I do it? It's so hard to do this with like a camera at the same time. And there we go. Press the button. It's a little delayed. We have our CPU fans turn on there. Uh, you can feel the air coming out of the uh, power supply here. Fans are spinning. And look at that. Dude, this is such a cool looking. Look at this. It tells you what's working and not working all, uh, out of all of the, we have 19 total slots, including uh, the the onboard uh, video card one. So um, we're going ahead and booting now. This is gonna boot us into Hive OS. Um, and so we've gone ahead and set this up. Dude, It's Hive OS is so easy to set up. I mean, seriously, it helps you set up the USB bootable drive, and then it gives you the config file, and you just drop it on your bootable drive in the root directory, and uh, which is right here on the USB drive, and then bam, it just boots up, and then it reports back to your account. It's that easy. So as you can see here, look, we're booted, we're good to go. It's up and ready. Uh, we're ready to move forward here. Uh, it doesn't have anything configured at this point. As you can see, look, it's just showing this HD Graphics 610, uh, which is that, which is the built-in uh, graphics uh, with the BIOS. And as you can see, we do not have a flight sheet at all, and nothing else is set up and configured. So if we go ahead and go over here now. Uh, we could take a look up here. Uh, we just did go ahead and boot. Um, so let's just refresh real quick. Um, and it should report back here soon, showing that our miner is online and good to go. It's missing the flight sheet, as we can see here when we get into this a little bit farther. Okay, perfect. So here's what we can see. We can get all the details. So our next step at this point, so we got it reporting all the data. Um, so our next step is I'm going to go ahead and um, put the camera on a stand, hit the fast forward button, and here's what we're installing right now, finally. So these are the 470s. Um, let's go ahead and open this. Take a look. So here's what we got. Uh, these are the RTX 470s. Uh, these are the Sapphire Nitro cards, um, which is what we're looking at here. Um, so if we take a quick look. Uh, a few things I wanted to show you guys. Sorry about some of the, the camera angles here. We're still getting used to talking and, and, and holding this at the same time. Um, so they do have an LED uh, mode switch on here that you can turn off and on. But the biggest one here is if you guys can see, it has a VBIOS switch. Uh, it's this little, little, tiny little white switch there. You can switch back and forth. That allows you to go from the default stock BIOS to a mining BIOS. So that is perfect. Can't wait to mess with that, figure that out. Uh, in addition to that, uh, let's see, where's our power here? Okay, cool. So we have one eight pin, which is really, really nice. Um, a lot of these have, you know, your eight pin, your two eight pins, your eight pin and your six pin. Um, but yeah, so this is exciting. So we're gonna go ahead and I am going to go ahead and put the camera on the stand and just kind of let it run and record and we're gonna go ahead and do a little fast forward mode here and we're gonna install all of those cards on here and then we'll be back, we'll meet back here in <laughs> a few minutes for you guys. It'll be a little longer for me and we'll go ahead and boot back up uh, Hive OS. We'll see what cards it's reporting and then we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys in just a minute.
Alrighty guys, so we are back. We just went ahead and finished the build. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and take a look here. Give you guys a little tour. Uh, the previous owner who was a miner uh, in central PA did go ahead and uh, put these little stickers on it. Look at this one here. Did he, oh, he put like a blue sticker on here too. Look at that, I was wondering what that was. We'll have to take these off at some point. Uh, but as you can see, each of these here has that there. So once again, these are the uh, Sapphire 470 four gigabyte cards uh, my goal is to mine ethereum classic with them to get started for right now um, so the wiring job is not perfect i totally understand it was just kind of a hey i want to get this together see what i have see what i need um, some things uh you know that bothered me here is as you can see down in here like your usb cables right here and it it felt the usb cable was almost like pushing down or pushing up then and and i didn't like the way it was bent but i did find that like you have these little crevice let me see if i can find a little better lighting here for you guys yeah there's a little crevice right here to put the to, to route the usb cable so it doesn't bend so that worked out really really nice uh this card actually still has the cat the caps on it which i like i'm gonna see if i can order a few more of these just kind of keeps dust from getting inside of here um which is really really convenient um, outside of that, other other items that I ran into as we were doing this, um, let's go ahead and take a look. So uh, the cables coming off of our HP 1200 um, watt power supply, you know, they go into the back of each of our cards here. One, two, three, four, five. Well, number six, you can see is orange. Well, this cable couldn't reach. So I have a uh, six to eight pin splitter. Um, not that I'm using this extra one here. But um, that gave us a little extra distance there that we needed in order to get up here. The other thing that we needed to do was I needed to, it's back in here. We have uh, two of our PCIe connections here for our SATA. So all of our risers are powered by our SATA here. So I needed to add a second one of those. So we have two of those there. So we have two that are powering the six cards. Uh, at this point, um, I, I feel like I had seen somewhere on, I don't know if it was, um, if it was Voshcoin or if it was uh, Red Panda Mining or even another channel. I can't remember. I've watched and contained so much and consumed so much content on these builds recently. Um, I feel like they had talked about the fact of only go with a two, a two to two to one on these, so one one of these connections coming off of the power supply to two SATAs for the riser. So I'm gonna have to go back and kind of take a closer look here um, to see what I can find in that regard. Um, if you guys have any ideas or thoughts or feelings, go ahead and post them in the comments below. I love, you guys are probably much more well experienced than I am in that regard. Other than that, guys, we're gonna go ahead and cut it here um, and uh, we're going to save the first power up for our next video if you guys enjoy this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and feel free to comment down below on all your thoughts feelings um, as i said i'm new we're just getting into this but i appreciate you guys joining me here on the hobbyist miner channel i'll see you guys next time